In today's world, fan communities mostly thrive on social media. But back in the late 90s, the South Park community created unique, fan-made websites that were vibrant hubs of creativity. It was a simpler time, when the internet was slower, streaming services didn't exist, and fans could showcase their passion for South Park through their own creations, including video games, animated parodies, and 3D art, amongst others. Back in the day, there were no streaming services, so the only practical way to watch South Park was either catching it on TV or buying the overpriced VHS tapes that only contained two episodes on each. Alternatively, there was a way to stream it over the internet, but with internet speeds being so slow, we could only really stream a one or two minute scene, and depending on the file size, could take between 10 to 20 minutes to fully download. To give a better idea of the resolution quality, Today, a South Park episode would be in full HD, which is this size. Standard definition on TV at the time would have been this size, and the lowest resolution for video streaming would have been this size. However, there was also the option to watch flash animations. For example, this was a reanimated South Park scene produced by Macromedia for fans to stream online. The visuals were noticeably cruder but Flash used vector graphics, so no matter how much you scaled up the image, the picture quality remained sharp. While it still took up to 10 minutes to load the cartoon, you were able to play a minigame to pass the time, which became available shortly into the download. But Flash didn't stop there. It was also used to make video games. and to make websites more interactive, which was a new and exciting thing for the time. But if fans wanted to play more South Park games and didn't want to have to worry about connecting to the internet, there was a massive library of PC games available to download that were created and submitted by fans. The games were simple, but using software like Click and Play or the Games Factory allowed users to create their own computer games with ease. The era of old school internet may appear very primitive today, but back then, we appreciated the low quality videos, the flash animations, the fan made games, the web banners, the wallpapers, and the screensavers, because they existed at the dawn of the interactive web, when dial up ruled, and every downloaded pixel felt like a hard earned treasure. And it's unfortunate that the age of fun South Park websites is now just a thing of the distant past. <laughs>